This one's so good. This is something... This is something that I have thought about before a lot. We've talked about this a ton of, like, set rotation as a concept in Yu-Gi-Oh! I, I have talked about that on stream before, and I think it's a very interesting one. I think it is a very interesting one. Where, um... Of course, whenever you mention it, whenever you mention set rotation to anyone that's playing Yu-Gi-Oh, they, they are always very, very un... I feel like people aren't very open about the idea. But I think in reality, I think um, people just are... Of, like, they don't like when, when things change, you know? Like, people just can't imagine how it would be. Um, what is set rotation? Set rotation is a concept that they use in many other card games, actually. Um, Magic, Pokemon being examples, where they, the, they have different formats, and the main format that people play is um, where only sets from the last two or three years, basically it's called, like, I don't know what it's called in, in, in the game, like standard format. The standard format is the, the sets from the last couple of years, and then sets rotate out after a while, right? Uh, set rotation would nuke the value of our collections. I mean, not really. I don't think that's the case. I think a lot of the cards from back in the day that have a lot of value are not actually expensive. Um, because they are still seeing play, right? Most cards, um, most cards that have value are not valuable because they still see play. It's mostly because they are just old and collectibles, right? Stuff is still collectible. Also, there's a, there's a few things I want to say. No one ever says that we should have rotation as our only format, right? They could, there could still be another format like Legacy in, in Magic where everything is still legal, right? We could just have two separate formats, um, and, and that's a thing, right? And then there's one more thing I want to say before we hop into it. Uh, I think that no matter what you say, I think Yu-Gi-Oh! kind of has set rotation already but like in disguise Re because i i do think that all of our archetypes all of our archetypes rotate out after two years anyways or three years like 99 percent of archetypes like try to play an archetype from uh from 2018 right we don't have official set rotation but what we have is power creep and those like our the, the, they rotate out anyways you know not all of them you can you can find counter arguments for this um but for the most part like power creep is a pseudo rotation the only difference is that sometimes we have very very old cards pop up again because they are now good in a new context. Like, I don't know, I have recent examples like King of the Swamp, Nimble Sunfish, whatever. Those type of cards that didn't see play like 10 years ago, 15 years ago, now seeing play because now they're powerful, right? Book of Moon, Book of Eclipse, uh, whatnot. The thing is that you have to, I think when we talk about rotation, you have to think about rotation in a different way passion where it wouldn't work like that where we just have the normal booster cycle that we have now but we add rotation on top of it of course there would be reprints of old cards to make them legal again right that's what they do in magic in magic at, at least i think that's how it works i'm not very familiar with it but i think they have like a core set of the big at the beginning of rotation where they reprint a bunch of staples right and now that this is like this would open a lot of doors, I think, where you could say something like, hey, we're going to have a rotation now where Max C is part of the core set, but it's going to rotate out in two years. So we can try playing with Max C for two years, and then in two years, we're not going to include it in the core set anymore in the next one, and so it's going to rotate out. And this is how you could, like, test these sort of things. I think it would be interesting. I think it would be interesting. I personally am... I think it's unrealistic. I think it will never happen. I think this is a purely hypothetical um, 
talk that we're having right now, but I think it's still interesting. Uh, I think it will never happen, but I would actually not be completely opposed to the idea. I'm not saying it would be 100% better or 100% worse. I'm saying it would be interesting. That's what I'm saying. And now let's see what they say. Uh, Stuxnet, thank you for five months. Appreciate that. Welcome back. All right, let me turn up the volume. You tell me if it's too low or too high. Looks fine to me. You've triggered my trap card, the Magical Hats. In this series, myself and three of the top Yu-Gi-Oh! streamers will give their unfiltered, uncensored, and uninformed takes on some of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s most pressing issues. The catch? One of these four has a fake take, and it's up to the rest to find the liar. It's time to play Magical Hats. Let's go. Clap. <laughs> And welcome back to the final episode of Magical Hats. Boys, it's been a long road. Why is it final episode? Road getting from there to here. For the final time, I am so happy to introduce Why? Kevin and Nadir and Gage for one final go round the emergency meeting table. How are you? Why is it the last one? Is limited to 10, but why it was fun? Oh, no, nah, I like the series. God damn it. We're all doing today. One more doing for the good. road. It's road yeah, dude, we gotta, we gotta <laughs> do one more, one last, and uh, that's it, you know? Well, we have saved the best topic for last. Ooh. <laughs> uh, should Yu-Gi-Oh! have set rotation? Now, if any of you are unfamiliar with the concept of set rotation, uh, Magic the Gathering has it in its standard format. And what happens is, every few years, all but the most recent sets are illegal. Gage, do you want to go first with your take? Oh, I mean, I'll gladly go first, Joseph. Not a problem. So I think, okay, the, to establish set rotation, the reasoning for it, right? I think the Imposter. big argument for it is that... Listen, <laughs> listen, listen. Gotta have some drama for the last episode, ten, epi you know? ten episodes later, bro, you can't expect me not to have, like, a reasonable take for this. Give me a second. So, the the, the big argument for set rotation is keeping the game fresh by only putting, like, the newest releases in the limelight of an advanced format. If I don't think that's the biggest... The biggest plus point of rotation. I, I'll tell you what I think the biggest plus point of rotation is. Uh, I'll try to formulate it. I think the biggest advantage of having a set rotation is to not force them to power creep every set to make sure people buy it or play with the cards. Because as of now, look at it from, look at it from a um, marketing perspective. You need to create cards that people want to to buy want to play with and therefore they need to be better than the stuff we already have right in Yu-Gi-Oh because there's no set rotation they make a they make a new set those cards need to be stronger than the old cards otherwise no one plays them the only mechanism that the Yu-Gi-Oh TCG currently has at doing that or like or like making sure they don't have to power creep certain things is the ban list, right? You don't need to power creep stuff if you just ban it, right? Um, in practice, that sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't. Of course, we don't. They try to not put that many cards onto the ban list, right? And the ban list is also not very predictable, which I think is one advantage of the rotation is that you very well know when stuff rotates and when it doesn't. Um. They don't end up actually doing that much. Like, in practice for Yu-Gi-Oh!, I think Yu-Gi-Oh! has had major power creep. And now you're gonna say, you're gonna say other games have power creep too. I think that's true to an extent. The thing is that they have the option to go back a lot easier than, than Yu-Gi-Oh! does. For Yu-Gi-Oh!, it seems almost impossible to go back on its power creep. Like, how could that even possibly work, right? How would that even be, you know... Uh, how how could that even be a thing? It can't really be a thing. Now, for um, for other games, you still have power creep simply because they still need to keep the game fresh, right? They can't like they can't 
always print the same stuff at the same power level you can you can basically if you want to design cars that people want to play with you can either design them like at the same power level but different sort of effects you can go like this direction with your design right or you can go up you can go like more powerful or you can go more variety in in terms of effects right and over like 20 30 years of magic of course they can't always go different effects right like always different always new always fresh sometimes they have to just go more powerful sometimes you have to go that direction right but like the cool thing about a rotation is that you have both options. You can go this way with your card design. You can go this way with your card design. Yu-Gi-Oh! can only go this way. Yu-Gi-Oh! doesn't have... We can't make archetypes anymore. Like, if you make an archetype a year later, we're like... Um, a year later, you make a deck that is same power level as the decks from last year, but just slightly different. No one... Like, people don't play it anymore. Like, it's not good enough anymore. Um... So, you know, I think no set rotation has given a great dynamic to Yu-Gi-Oh! where sometimes 15-year-old calls come to relevancy. Yes. Yes. Um, that is cool. That is cool. Love me some enemy controller. Love me some Book of Moon. Love me some Book of Eclipse. Love me some King of the Swamp here and there. Uh, I will also say to this argument, uh, I'll throw a anti-spell fragrance into the, into the mix. I'll I'll throw in a skill drain. I'll throw in a um a cyberstein. I'll I'll throw in a um a gozen match, a rivalry of the warlords, a summon limit. Um you know what I mean? You see where you see where this argument that you just made is not only an argument for like against set rotation that can also be an argument against set rotation because cards are being printed 20 years ago um and with every new set now konami has to take all of the cards that already exist into account right because you have to carefully design cards around every single card that exists to make sure that that's not being abused some way right and in practice it's not possible. Like, Anti-Spell Fragrance is a card that was designed 20 years ago for a time back then where the card was completely fair. No one cared about that card. No one cared about that card. But, and they, 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 they like, you can't blame people 20 years ago for knowing that, hey, this card will be incredibly broken in 20 years when the game is so much faster and when they make pendulums because they couldn't know that back then, right? And this is one of the, core um advantages of set rotation is that it 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 helps them design cool stuff without having to worry about it becoming a problem 10 years down the line right um set rotation is not friendly to budget players i think that's cap i think that's cap i think that is absolutely it, it might even be the opposite it might even be the opposite because i don't think cards hit as high prices for formats where people know that they rotate out um, I actually, I would argue that is even the opposite. I think set rotation would make cards cheaper. And let's face it, most of your cards, most of your cards are losing value either way. Um, yeah. If that's all it's doing, I would argue that Yu-Gi-Oh! already does a good enough job of that. Like, you take any meta deck from like two years ago, right? And you compare it to a meta deck today, the entire card pool for it is essentially different besides a few staple cards. Those cards that get released every now and again that go that distance and let's set like that new standard for a mechanic. But they're all that I would say is like glue to all these other archetypes that get released and progressively get better with every set. Um, I think part of what like Yu-Gi-Oh that's unique about it that keeps me coming back is that you can get attached to these old strategies and they can come back into formats by uh, just one good card being released for them, right? Um, it's an exciting concept that's made like uh, by the decision not to rotate any of these cards that we can go back and see all these old cards. Um, I think the concept of the Forbidden Limit list we have now, like an entire just succinct list that takes into account the entire like history of Yu-Gi-Oh! and can say like these cards have pushed the limits too far. I think that's just unique in its own, right? I don't think we need set rotation to constantly keep the game like fresh and everything like that. I think the game with uh, the releases of the core sets already does it good enough. All right, well, 
Unfortunately, I'm just going to out myself as not the imposter because I'm sure you all pretty much already know my take. But I am Set Rotation's strongest soldier. I believe that Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> not only should have Set Rotation, I believe it's an inevitability that it will have it at some point in our lifetime or it will die. I think that Gage uh, made a pretty good point early on when he said... In my latest YouTube video... In my latest YouTube video, Rayol, thank you so much for the tier one. Welcome, welcome. Actually, there's an ad in progress. Let me wait for that ad in progress because I want everyone to, to know what I'm saying right now. It is an interesting coincidence that we just now talk about set rotation after I made that video. Um... Pepe D, all right, I need to update it. I think we already had the Pepe D. All right, ad is in progress, five seconds. Um, there we go, okay. I want to add to this what MBT just said. <laughs> Was wondering why there are ads. Well, now they're gone. <laughs> Thank you for the five months. So, um... MBT said he thinks that there is a necessity for set rotation in Yu-Gi-Oh! at some point, or the game will die. I don't necessarily agree with it 100%, but... But... I will say, in my latest YouTube video, I mentioned a point that is kind of similar to this. My, my, my recent YouTube video was titled, uh, the, the, the Biggest Problems of Modern Yu-Gi-Oh! I I do agree that at some point in the foreseeable future in the foreseeable future at some point I think Yu-Gi-Oh is going to run into a problem where something big needs to happen. It I don't know if that big thing needs to be set rotation that's not what I'm saying but I think something needs to happen because I think we're hitting a we are hitting a breakpoint where in order for decks to be playable right now in Yu-Gi-Oh, they need to be so freaking busted that, like, because of all the things that they did to make going first, like, how do I phrase it? It's so hard to phrase it. Going first is super busted in Yu-Gi-Oh right now. And over the years, they have given us... They have given us, uh, they have given us more and more tools to combat going first, but it's never been quite enough. And like, it's it's always going, it's it's they're going uh, higher and higher in power level, and they're giving us more and more band aid fixes of like they started with hand traps, then they made they made decks that play through one hand trap, then they made more hand traps, then they made decks that play through two hand traps, then they made powerful board breakers. Now they're making decks that can play through multiple hand traps and also play around some of the board breakers. And, but now we have like, we have everything now, right? We have everything now. We have all kinds of different hand traps. We have all kinds of different board breakers. It, it doesn't matter what you do now. You're like, if they want to, to print more decks that are powerful, they need to make them so freaking busted. And I don't think they can do it forever. I don't think they can do it forever. I think eventually they need to find a way to to fix this, right? I, I, and I'm not saying we should go back to how old Yu-Gi-Oh was. That is not my point. Absolutely not my point. I just think that the way modern Yu-Gi-Oh is developing is not something that can go on forever. The direction that they have been doing the last couple of years is not something that they can... It's not a course that they can take to infinity. Um, there needs to be some way, like, uh, because, I mean, the game is already basically, what I'm trying to say is, all of the things that they've been doing in the past, uh, in a grand scheme, have, have made the game faster and faster and faster, and they've given us better and better answers for fast decks, right? They've given us cards to completely blow out decks when they go first, but the game can't really get much faster than what it is right now, because games already end on turn two or three. 
right? They the the games already end like t player one makes a board, player two tries to break it, and the game ends right there, pretty much. Now the games that we have right now are not bad, but where do we go from here? Is what I'm asking. Right? Like how? How? Where do we go from here? Because we've already established that in order to sell new product, they need to make stuff that's better. And now, what's better than decks that already win on the first turn? Like, how are we gonna? How are they gonna do it? Right? And that's like. And no one wants that to be clear, right? The game is already too fast for people. How are they going to make it even faster, like even better, even stronger when people don't even want that, right? And then like, and this is why my theory is that they need to do something to slow it down because we can't go faster and people don't want to go faster. People don't want to go more powerful at this point in time, right? So uh, they need to, something needs to happen. Big ban list. Uh, that completely changes the game, new master rule, set rotation, are all possibilities. I don't know which one would be the best one. I just think that, yeah, I don't know if you agree, but my current take is that the direction we are going right now is not something that works forever, right? We can't go much faster, much stronger than right now. It's not really possible, you know? And this is why uh, set rotation is something that is an interesting topic right now. I'm not saying it's the best way to do it, but it would certainly make sure that it would, it would slow down, right? So, like, everyone that's against rotation, think about that. Like, think about what I just said. I think it makes some sense. You, you, can, you can overall like or dislike rotation. I think it's completely fine to still not be a fan of rotation, but we can still, like agree that it has some things going for it, right? There's definitely some some good things that happen when we have rotation. Uh, Rod, thank you for the two months. And Invoker, thank you for the three. All right, so I'll stop We already talking. kind of have set rotation. Uh, that's basically true, and I think resolves all of the outstanding problems people have with set rotation. A lot of the time you get people who've been playing DM for the last 45 years say, well, then my deck will be illegal and I'll lose all my games. It's like, yeah, I mean... Uh, basically, right now, playing Dark Magician is the same as playing it if the cards are banned. Uh, you just, you know, circumvent the judge call. You're not going to go very far. Uh, I think the real reason that set rotation is important isn't that, like, the game stays fresh. I think it's that the power level of the game can be brought down occasionally. Uh, famously, uh, Magic the Gathering was kind of in a scenario similar to where Yu-Gi-Oh! has been after the release of Power of the Elements. After, like, Return to... Go lol, then give it a five. To Ravnica and like Theros, the subsequent set was just like really simplified and uh, helped reset uh, upwards of half a decade of power creep. All right, you've um, lost me. I just want to say that like, I don't know what this guy's talking about. Those are a lot of <laughs> words and names I've never heard in my life. This video is brought to the, you by the, Wizards of the Coast. Yeah, open Magic the Gathering 30, by the way. No, yeah, the but the, the general gist of it is. Um, you are now, uh, every single card that's printed has to be competitive with every card that's been printed before it. So cards get more complicated and more powerful every single set, or else no one would buy them. Uh, Next, if there's a rotation, you can make weaker cards that are more simple, and people buy them anyway, right? Um, and that, I think, is uh, critical to resolving the biggest you know, gatekeep of people getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh, which is that it is a really hard, complex game with cards that do absolutely uh, everything. Gage said that like, oh, damn, I don't really have anything to say anymore because I just, I already, I already uh, dropped all my knowledge on the first couple minutes. So now I don't have anything to add anymore because I've said all of it already. Unfortunate. Um, it is kind of cool that like some decks can come back into the meta after they get one good card. I literally can't think of a time that that's ever happened. Like, I, I guess maybe Blue Eyes, but they had like a whole series of new cards. Prank Kids? I, I legitimate. Prank Kids. Prank Kids. Prank Kids is a deck that was a year and a half old by the time they released Miyamu. It wasn't coming back. The people who started playing while they were playing Prank Kids were still in the game. But like, like Shadals? Shadals, hello? What Bull single card did Shadals get that brought them back? Bullblader. Schism, hello? Schism? It's it's an... In they got an entire structure and deck. They got schism, schism. What do you mean? Okay, I can... Uh, Mr. Morrison, thank you for the six months. Appreciate that. <laughs> Welcome back. The thing is that you can still bring back old archetypes with rotation. You can just reprint them. That's not 
like a thing. You could change your the way you print cards when you have a rotation. You can just make a new set and you can bring back whatever archetype you want to. Also, all of those archetypes are basically a great example of rotation because freaking what happened? Prank Kids got support, Prank Kids became relevant, and then they rotated out because they killed it. We have rotation already. Y'all just don't see it. Hard, bro. <laughs> Think of like Naturia, right? So we got three yeah. new Naturia cards in like the last year that made the archetype suddenly decent. Imagine if we never had any of those other Naturia cards released like almost a decade ago, dude. The like, only get, Naturia get... cards you play but, are the new ones. Yes, but what and I'm saying, then Nat Beast. Dude, we would never see like the Naturia archetype revisited again if we had rotation. Yes, you. There's no reason yes, to go back. Yes, you could. No. There's like... no re. Well, listen. No, but that's what he's saying. With with rotation, those Great. old cards could be good. No, it's a great example because think of Magic the Gathering. Uh, there was... Um, uh, no, I can't. Like, uh, oh my god, okay. Uh, I'm trying to think of something that you all have played. Think of, I don't know, Pokemon? Like, um... <laughs> nope. So lost. That you're never gonna... <laughs> just let it finish thought, you're... <laughs> I mean, at this point, it's also just really counterproductive to, like, join a discussion about rotation but literally don't even take like a couple minutes to inform yourself about how this works in other games, right? Like you don't have to make all this stuff up. You can look at how it works out in other games and like to make sure it's a good discussion. Like you're just sitting down. You're like, no, we can't talk about Pokemon right now. I've never, I don't know what that's about. Like we also can't talk about magic because I don't know. I don't know anything about that. Like, bro, why are you in a, why are you in a, in a discussion about set rotation? if you just like know nothing about the concept and how it works in practice like there's literally working examples out there of how this works in other games and you just like you're not informing yourself about it like what's the point then why are you here when like your uh, your your points are like all invalidated if you just thought of, about it a little bit longer you know what i mean Saying that you're never going to see Naturia again, except for these three cards that came back, is like saying you're never going to see Pikachu again. They can always print new, good but... versions of cards, right? Like, uh, there's nothing preventing them from printing those three Naturia cards, calling them Naturia cards, having rotated everything else, and throwing in a Nat Beast reprint, and us not being in the exact same position we are now. Yeah. Can we have Magician Souls for Pikachu, please? I'm so down. Yeah. I mean, we, let, it basically is the same thing. I'll right? let the other two go, but then I actually have a lot yeah, to yeah, say. Go ahead, go ahead. I have a lot to argue. This is gonna be. A, I think this is going to be a hell of a fucking episode. I'm going to be honest gonna, with you. It's going to be a, a banger. <laughs> All right. I guess I'll go. So, um, I also believe uh, without a doubt uh, that the set rotation should absolutely and almost inevitably will be a thing in Yu-Gi-Oh. But no, but shot. but no, imposter. I got I got No one actually has my take. I got a big big clap of the butt cheeks here, okay? But I don't think it should be a replacement to the current format. I think it should be a secondary format and I think mm. that would be a great way to bring in the game. Now, there's a lot of positives to say with the uh, set rotation. I think that set rotation would be a really good way to spice up a sort of stagnation of the current metagame. And you would just be able to be, you know, play competitive Yu-Gi-Oh, but as a different format. The one couple of, the, the couple of cards that I like to go as an example to for why set rotation could be cool is how many times have you read a card in Yu-Gi-Oh that's like coming out and it's like a generically good staple and you think to yourself, hmm, that's good, but why would I ever play this over X card? I think a good example of that would be like, um, I don't know, like a Psychic Eraser Laser, if you guys ever remember that card. Like, that is an inherently, like, really good, powerful card. But why would you really ever play this over Kaijus? Almost We've not talked about the Volcanic Support yet. We will soon. Kaijus. Kaijus is just the best spot removal in Yu-Gi-Oh! Imagine we were in a situation where you were deck building in a rotated format, and you had to think about the different kinds of spot removal. What if, like, Smashing Ground somehow was, like, the best spot removal? Do you know what I mean? There's a couple of trap yeah. cards that fall into this example. You guys know the card uh, Get Out? It's an incredible card. It's just a trap card for compulsory evacuation device for two extra deck monsters. I think that card is incredible. Mm -hmm but it just never has seen play. And why is that? Well, there's just better trap cards, you know? Solemn Strike, I think, is the biggest offender of this, right? And I think- This is not why Get Out is not seen play, by the way. Like, maybe I'm gonna play Get Out. Maybe I'm gonna play Apocrypha. Maybe I'm gonna play- Well, it, it might be part of the reason of, of why Get Out is not seeing play, but the core reason why Get Out is not seeing play is because Power Creep has eliminated normal trap cards from the game. 
which would probably also not be the case if we had set rotation so there's play that torrential ice dragon like obviously you can currently play those but like they sometimes a lot of these cards are just overshadowed by other cards lightning vortex is another good example of this what if lightning vortex was the best monster removal in the game in a certain rotation format i think rotation would be really cool if you could spice it up you know we could go back to the dm era obviously that's probably where the starting point was and what if they splashed in a couple of newer cards what if there was like i don't know like a, a, a tour guide or rescue rabbit and stuff like that in like older format they could like the world is your oyster with how they design a set rotation format i think set rotation would be a great thing and a great addition for Yu-Gi-Oh, but i don't think it should be a replacement but overall as a, as a solid idea i think it'd be incredible for Yu-Gi-Oh. the card pull for Yu-Gi-Oh just i think begs for set rotation it would be really cool in my opinion all right i guess it's my time to uh to, to... one other thing that i haven't said yet is think about think about all the decks that came out and you thought to yourself yeah that that archetype or that deck is kind of cool but there's no way it can compete with the current power level of the game all of those decks all of those decks, most of those decks, not all, but most of those decks would actually have been playable if we had set rotation. Because then with set rotation, the overall power level of the game would be so much smaller and they, they would compete with so... They would compete with less powerful archetypes and cards. I think. There's like a bunch of archetypes that could probably have seen, have seen play if um if we if we did have set rotation say my piece so i only see one one singular positive point with uh, set rotation I'll, I'll start this by saying i personally dislike the idea of set rotation i don't want set rotation in Yu-Gi-Oh. the only positive point in my opinion to set rotation is what joseph was saying instead of a you know dex power levels constantly one-upping each other being like more powerful more powerful more powerful you get to basically establish a, where the start and the end of the power level of any deck is at and you can basically assure that at all times the power level remains there and then once you hit the top of that power level there you go boom rotate it out start back at the beginning and run it back i don't hate that specifically because it means that you don't constantly get to a point where you know people feel as though they can't keep up anymore because everything is too powerful however i very much am someone who likes to revisit old decks in new formats and like gage was saying i dislike the idea of not being able to you know new format comes out new set comes out and i go damn i wonder how unchained performs this format or damn i wonder how salamangre performs this format i feel like there are enough people that play the game that enjoy being able to do exactly that and enjoy being able to take that pet deck that they have and take it to competitive events and see how we do and even sometimes you'll Fair see point. them like perform really well sometimes you'll see people that will bring four five six year old decks to events and will perform well and it's always really hype in the community and i feel like set rotation kind of takes that away and Fair as point. a primary like a primarily rogue player i think it would make me and other people sad and upset that they won't be able to play the decks that they really like to play yes at the end of the day they will re they will print new stuff that these players would maybe find you know a new love in personally i i've always been someone who finds it really fun when a deck finds a 10 year old card that works super well with it or a new deck comes out and a 10 year old card counters that deck i think that's super fucking cool i think it's something super unique in Yu-Gi-Oh, and is really really good flavor in a lot of situations just the fact that book of moon is good in the game right now book is a staple that card is 20 years old or something like I that. I hate this argument. And it's like Book of Moon is one of the best cards that you can slap into your deck right now. I hate this argument um, for the specific reason that I think people are misrepresenting the idea of how a set rotation would work. Um, because, well, I, I understand the pet deck thingy, first of all. That's what I want to say. I agree with the pet the pet deck thing is is a big deal. Uh, that is a that is one of the counterpoints of rotation. Like the fact that you can have a pet deck from years ago and you can still play it if you want to, even if it's not good, right? Most of the most of the time they won't be good, but you can still play it. That is true. That is a that is a good thing about Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, the argument about like staple cards or whatnot popping up from like ten years ago or whatnot, that's not really an argument because. The way set rotation works, 
in other games is that they they do get a batch of staples at the beginning of a rotation and be like here are the staples you will play with in this rotation right and so like they the set rotation wouldn't mean you can never play book of moon again right that's the that's what this is sound that's what this sounds like but that's not the, the case right you can have a master set or whatnot for like the the at the beginning of a new set rotation and you just like throw in a bunch of staples and you're like yeah here you go these are all the staples you can play with but then Konami decides what is good and what is not. So if Konami doesn't reprint, for example, Book of Moon, it won't be good versus Cat. Yeah, well, they decide that, but like they already decide that now. And where does that get us, right? Like, I mean, or what do we like on the on this one hand of the argument? We have Book of Moon enemy controller, right? And on the other hand, we have uh, anti spell fragrance, skilled rain, goes and match, rivalry of warlords, uh, Cyberstein. What and so what weighs more to you personally? What do you think is better for the game overall? The Lonely Book of Moon, Book of Eclipse, and Enemy Controller, or like all these? Like, what is more? Im what would you trade? I I'll give you my Book of Moon for all those floodgates. I'll get rid. I don't need that Book of Moon. I don't care. I that Book of Moon can go. That Book of Moon can go. I think that is some insane flavor and is also super appealing to uh, newer players that used to play the game and are like, oh, wow, this card still sees play. That's really interesting. And they, they kind of get entranced by that. And set rotation would kind of take some of that magic away. And I feel like it'd be really sad. I think we talked a little bit I... about this in a previous episode, but I think, um, yes, that's true sometimes. But almost always the cool, like, old card that comes back is almost is always floodgate. like a floodgate. That Yeah, that yeah. you would, Or like... instant fusion, you know? Yeah. So I actually have something to say on Farfa's point because you had a, a whole different like kind of ideology on how you envisioned this like rotated format. And I think it's a cool one, right? You said like, what if we have Smashing Ground become like the best removal of a format, right? But that has to establish the precedent that we can have old cards be reprinted in the format, right? Is that right? I feel like I feel yeah, yeah. So you okay. have like, yeah. we're not saying like completely axe the last eight years of Yu-Gi-Oh and you can't play. No, I mean cards, Magic we can will piecemeal. reprint cards as well. Yeah. yeah, but they have to do it. I think because they have to make they, they have to consider drafting. It's completely different. I think. I think they have to consider like how many times has Murder been reprinted, bro? Like <laughs> frequently, Magic will like set a precedent of like this is the premier removal style of the format and we're printing it in here even if it's a like so, a yeah. reprint. Like yeah. for instance, like Bolt when it is in a format is the premier removal spell of the format. So when they're designing a format for standard, they'll be like, do we? include bolt or not what are these cards bro <laughs> like <laughs> I, I, me and joseph are nerding right now so what i'm saying is like <laughs> do we like maybe start this type of format with like a selection pack and say like all these old school like every Yu-Gi-Oh card is banned yes. from eight years ago except yes. these ones and we bring back so, the old ones and no you would just you just you is... just print those cards in that set and then it would only yes. ever be like okay yeah. this is the set so you can good. You can easily throw them into like the core sets, like the photon hypernovas and stuff for sure. Uh, but I really do like the concept of having like a 2023 Yu-Gi-Oh set. And it's like all the cards that old players go bat about. Um, but it's like, <laughs> also this is where the generic premier removal is gonna be. You know, maybe the set has like, you know, smashing ground tactics, like whatever they want to be specifically. I'll say it right now. I think if they did it properly, I think if they did a rotation system properly, it would be hell the pock and people would love the shit out of it. If they if they if they found a good balance without with, with like reprinting old cards and designing cool sets for the current rotation, if they did it properly, it would be so sick. It would be so sick. And this is besides like are they going to do it properly or whatever like oh it's Konami they're never going to do it properly. If they did it properly, it would be sick playable in this format is what i'm I want to just say like unequivocally i don't think that this will ever be a thing in like the replacement of the game i think like my i yes, wanted to very no. much caveat that this wouldn't happen but the thing is joseph you said like yeah. oh it's it's inevitable that this is going to be set no, rotation I, yeah, will disagree. happen that will never happen okay i can you, absolutely you said, you said the exact same thing if they make this do you think that it would fucking tank as hard as like uh, I don't know, freaking uh, deck master format, and so or will people actually well, play this? You think? I I think like with it depends on if they support it. Yeah, they didn't for deck. Well, is it? Is, yeah, like, well, isn't this the primary? Like, okay, so the thing is with the whole set rotation, whatever. That's the standard format for Magic, right? Yes, standard uh, is no, the last like It's, it's years. called standard. Okay, the so most when when you see format in Magic is probably Commander. Okay, and this Commander expanded like with all cards. Or 
this commander of set no, rotations. We, you can't really talk about commander because that's unofficial. Okay, so here's here's official. my big thing. It was it was sanctioned like five years ago. Can we stay away from magic? The only way to Please, play magic? can we just no, stay no, away from magic? I have a very I have a very, I have a very important point. Like, one second, one second. I have a very important point that needs to be clarified. I think for me and the deer, just to, so that we have an idea here. Um, so in Magic, if I if I say I am going to the premier Magic the Gathering event, what format am I playing? Standard. They're gonna tell you beforehand. They're gonna be like, okay. <laughs> no, no, it is. If I go to ma it dumb, if I yeah. go to a Magic the Gathering YCS, am I playing standard or no? It depends. So the G. <laughs> No, the GP is going to be either a modern... Well, there's no GPs anymore. But the event is going to be like a modern one or a standard one or a legacy one. Like, they will tell you this in advance. A, yeah, this is a problem for Pokemon, too, actually. So Pokemon... That's listen, so... Cr I, that sounds so... Wait, wait, wait. Dog. Guys, <laughs> Kevin? Kevin? <laughs> me just, when I discover... Bro, what do you mean? Format? What is so hard about that concept? There's, like, different formats, and they have premier events for all the different form. Like, what is so hard about that? What, what, what do you mean? I, I, that's not that hard. <laughs> they have different formats. And they have, uh, they have, like, I don't know. It's like... <laughs> Let me just explain this for a second, okay? Because this is going to put a lot of things in perspective. I enter a side so, event. What's the fucking format? Oh, my God. No, so but the main event is the same format. I want to know what the fuck I'm playing. What the hell? Yeah, so Pokemon has this problem, too, where, like, they'll tell you what format you're either playing the standard or you're playing the extended format and you don't have a choice. Extended. So we're going to assume, listen, we're going to assume that oh, if we broke off too. into a standard rotation and an extended, Yu-Gi-Oh players would have to choose. And I think with like record attendance right now, why would you want to divide that number? There's one way to play Yu-Gi-Oh correctly, like right, you can play it casually however you want, but there's one competitive way to play it and I think that's a super cool thing. I don't know why you would want to split the entire community yeah, in I, half. To support I hate the idea. That's, that's, well, I that's, hate that's the idea that it's like, hey, I hear, announcing YCS Philly and YCS New York. YCS Philly, you play everything with a ban list. YCS New York, you play with the set rotate. That makes absolutely no fucking sense for Yu-Gi-Oh. Why if not? If only there was some card game that was infinitely more popular than Yu-Gi-Oh that took that approach, but unfortunately, we'll never know. Hey, that's no, but true. if they took that I, approach I from that day one, I feel like that's very simple, very different. They than, didn't. Than they didn't. Magic Forever did not have set rotation, and then they implemented Type 1 and Type 1.5 to save the fucking game. Because they ended up in a Yu-Gi-Oh! style event where the only thing you were playing were the greatest 60 cards ever printed. Let's uh, bring in Hearthstone into this argument as well. Let's just talk the about all the same thing. <laughs> the exact same thing. Yeah, Hearthstone no, is the same thing. Okay, yeah. so for what it's worth, I, I appreciate the concept that like, oh, you know... Uh, there's record attendance. Why would you want to fuck this up, right? But I, I think you have to look at the like. Bro, you, you is at a point of culture. You would do it for the sake of the game. If if a rotation, uh, if a rotation makes the game better, then who cares if it's three thousand people at one YCS? If we split it into fifteen hundred events for for two uh, formats, and the people have better times at each then like who cares why why is it bad like, i don't get it Har both magic and hearthstone died though that's like not even remotely true like both of those games are not dead <laughs> like i don't know what you're talking about like at least at least use reasonable arguments if we're talking Cultural saturation that like if i talk to my grandma she knows what Yu-Gi-Oh is she's like really? familiar with it as a concept <laughs> yeah they're, they're like oh the kid with the hair right you know it, it is what it is but does she know magical there are a sig <laughs> well there's a significant amount of uh people who are interested in Yu-Gi-Oh from the anime from you know its cultural impact yeah and then they pull um, up to an event they can't play any of the cards they saw on the show <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck example Be is but this they, man? they do not but they do not play the game because it is impenetrable to them think of how many people you know that are like oh the game's too complicated how would set rotation concept, help that because you can make the game easier but that's no but what one of the those get rotated You know what the problem here is? You know what the problem here is? And I mean this in the most respectful way. Is that there is... There's a, dis there's a discussion here between one person that understands the concept of rotation and three people that don't. <laughs> they just don't know. They, don't, they haven't really thought about, like, 
the the concepts of rotation they don't really understand they have not even spent a, a second to look at how it works in other games what the history of rotation is how a rotation would possibly work for them it's just like i uh they are applying the concept of just rotating the last couple sets in a Yu-Gi-Oh release structure that we have today which i agree would probably suck like if we just rotated and they kept product exactly the same way it would be uh it would be bad there would have to go other changes with a rotation you would implement other changes alongside a rotation like for example you would you could design cards differently uh you could um you could design cards differently you could have core sets that reprint certain staples or certain archetypes that you want to give some spotlight in any given year of rotation or whatever it would be a, a rework of the entire structure of the game not just yo last five sets are legal everything else is banned go go at it that's not what's going to happen or that's not what would happen um, I'll say to this to this point of uh, of of making the game newer player friendly, I think is a hundred percent true, and not for the reasons that they were mentioning. Yes, I believe the game would be a little bit simpler, but I think the major point that would be new player friendly or casual player friendly or whatnot is the amount of cards you need to be familiar with. It is. And I know this from like having friends that haven't been playing the game for years and are trying to come back or like whatnot. The amount of cards you need to be familiar with, even if you're just talking like meta relevant stuff, is insanely high for Yu Gi Oh! It is not even funny how, how complicated it is to get into Yu Gi Oh! Um, if you haven't played the game in a couple of years. All right. And this is. Partially because there's way too many archetypes, but there is also a billion like tech cards that you need to know from like years ago, right? And if you had a set rotation in place, if you had a set rotation in place, you could just hand someone the list of cards they need to read that are legal in the current format and they could like actually go through it, right? They could actually go through the entire list of, of stuff and maybe understand most of it and go to a tournament and know what to expect, right? And the amount of things you need to learn as a new player when you look at Yu-Gi-Oh! Is, is, is crazy because that's like, it's over 20 years of cards that are all legal, except for like a list of, I don't know, 100 cards on the ban list? So... Yeah, no, overall, I think, I think, uh, I, I think, uh, rotation, the concept of rotation is something that you only really understand if you really think about it and also look about, look at how it works in other games. And I think that if you are looking at it only from the Yu-Gi-Oh perspective, you have no idea how it works in other games, what it does to the market, what it does to the, the, like the, the game itself. You're not going to like the idea in the beginning, and I understand that, but I think if you think about it more like closely, and if they actually managed it quite well, I think it would be a good thing. I, I, literally. Every, but then every they get time you reprint out. the game, every time yes, you reprint the game, you have to print years. a ton of lists, yeah, a ton of sinkers, a ton of XCs, a ton of effect monsters. How the you, fuck you are you going to do are, anything with that? You guys are out of your mind. If you drastically decrease the power and drastically decrease uh, the complexity of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, okay, a bunch of those people. <laughs> the older panda, thank you for the five months. People who are not playing events right now, there is a possibility. There's a lot more who would there get are... in, but are like not going. One to question for you, Joseph. Wait, wait, I have one question. Can, can I are... speak for a sec, bro? Oh my <laughs> god. god, let me god. talk. Go, let me talk. <laughs> okay. God damn it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. God, I hate everything. Holy what a great finale. So another problem with Joseph's like theory of like you can lower the power level. Imagine we reset the game, right? We can release yeah. like the weakest cards in the game that are all super fair. We can go back to GOAT era speed. What if evenly matched was the best we got? So now we have standard card sets released for the rest of eternity that never compare to those older cards and that extended format never gets buffed because you can't release cards like evenly matched effect veil or imperm because that's what made the game so 
bad before or needed this rotation. This is actually a really good uh, point. Uh, two things. One, you can have a, a standard and an extended ban list. And two, of course, you can print like a modern master set where cards are only legal for the eternal format. But importantly, there's a lot of cards that are powerful in advanced format right now that theoretically would be very weak in a low power level format. Think about Dark Ruler no more. If you expect the game to take t 10 or 20 turns, that's a dog shit card. Right? But in the context of the way that Yu-Gi-Oh! exists now, where one person does a big fuck-off combo fest for 20 minutes, that card's extremely powerful. And using that type of context, you can release cards that are good for specific formats. I have one question. Um, Joseph, are you suggesting, and Farfa maybe as well you can chime in since you guys are pro set rotation, are you suggesting that after you, you rotate out sets and you're in the new rotation. Are you suggesting there could ever be a world where you just have a format where links don't exist or synchros don't exist? Or is every single format moving forward going to have every single summoning mechanic available at some point during the format? I think that's like getting into like the details of it and I don't know like if that's worth talking about. I mean, I think it is worth talking about whether or not it functions in Yu-Gi-Oh. I think I think I mean, there's like potential it's it's worth thinking about this, right? But you could have like you could have a core set like an extra deck like, toolbox type of set where you just release like I don't know 200 cards as a set for the current rotation and you put like a bunch of extra deck staples in it like 20 for each mechanic or 40 for each mechanic and those are the ones we play with at the beginning of the of the rotation i don't see the problem you know what i mean the idea of not being able to have these is just so bad right. it's like we and... still get synchros and xyz's today it's not yeah. like we only got them when they were in the synchro era okay so question question for everyone if set rotation just happened like tonight for example do mm -hmm. you think it would like kill the game I would quit. No. I personally I would, would divide it. Oh boy, well boy, you you really That's cap. That's cap. Like nah. They wouldn't be attending those YCSs. <laughs> oh, okay, no. Joe. No. Joseph. No. <laughs> no. No. You're going to have to choose between the Joseph, standard YCS you... and the legacy YCS. What, what, what? <laughs> I'll I'll give this pitch to competitive players who uh think that the only way to play Yu-Gi-Oh is advanced. If set rotation happens tomorrow, do you know what the best deck is? Cash Tira. What's the second best deck? Sprite. What's the third best deck? Labyrinth. It's the same fucking format. All right, Gage, who's the imposter and why? Yeah. I think Joseph's the imposter. That's Farfa is the imposter, no question asked. The, the, there's no way Farfa actually is in favor of rotation because Farfa doesn't understand how it works. Uh, yeah, it's just MBT was the only reasonable person in this thing. <laughs> Where I'm putting my money at. <laughs> See, I don't know. I, it's I, I, I it's think Nadir. No one else agrees with my dog shit take. <laughs> it's Nadir. 100%. I, I think I know who it is, and I've already written it down. I'm, I'm sold. Are we, are we, is, this, is it time? We, nobody else has got anything to, to fight about right now. I'm... <laughs> All right, ready? Give me a yeah, sec. No, no, I need to think. I haven't even written anything down. I've no. Farfa, I honestly, you don't no need room. to think. It's you. You don't have to think at all. Uh, it's really, really does you. Does not need to think. I swear, if it's Gage and everyone is pro set rotation, but me, I'm going to be upset. Okay, like it's important to note that I did say like not for the main game, but even still, if it was for the main game, I'd still play. Like whatever. Three, two, one. All right, the, the, there's not one. Who was it? No, not I, one. Remy did do what I told him. No I way. Gave what? The idea. No, I gave him yeah, the idea, no. man. I said, I said, you know what? Final episode, let's bring it back. To oh, the that's said, genius. Oh, there's no imposter. Okay. Wait, there's, there's, there's no imposter. Yell at each other. You know, some, like, some guys. No Wait, so Farf and Joseph, your takes are just dog shit. Oh, my what God. What? Oh, my God, dude. You know what would be the thing? If we got rotation tomorrow, some people would quit. Most people wouldn't. And I think overall, for the long, in the long run, in the long run, I think it would be fine. I think we would still enjoy the game. And I think the fact that it would become an easier game to understand is that it would, it would drive more people into the game than we would lose. The, like, we would lose a bunch of like crybabies because of rotation, uh, but we would gain a lot of people that could uh that could bring back that we could bring back because they don't have to learn 20 years of cards <laughs> I, 
I don't agree with him, I'm but gonna, man. I'm gonna I'm next next okay, next MBT series is gonna be rotation Yu-Gi-Oh! We're gonna make the rotation <laughs> set. Oh, it's gonna be so good. We could call it Yu-Gi-Oh!'s greatest hits or something. Okay, okay, but actually the real take is that we already have rotation Yu-Gi-Oh! and it's Edison and it's the most popular thing ever, so Alright. Good episode, boys. <laughs> this one was fucked. This was good. Uh, yeah. Dan, make it a long everyone. one, dude. Literally make it a half-hour yeah. episode, bro. No, Run it. I was yeah, dude, legitimately. I was, I was gonna say, was like, possible. the last episode, I think it was, we had like splitting the community like Magic did, is not the way to go. I'm not sure if the community is super split in Magic. Of course, I'm not. I'm not part of the Magic community, so I don't know that. But I think there is nothing wrong with like having, having like people that play Yu-Gi-Oh in one way and and playing Yu-Gi-Oh in another way and them having like, you know, like what's the downside of it? Like you can just talk to the people that play your game because like we have people that play Yu-Gi-Oh Duel Links, we have people that play Yu-Gi-Oh Master Duel uh and not play the TCG. Like what what is the problem with that? Like why is that a uh why is that a uh, an issue, right? We have dual links players, we have uh master dual players. Why does that like why does that matter? We have people that only play Edison. We have we have people like there's a there's an entire Edison community out there that doesn't even really there's only some people that still play regular TCG, like people play people play Edison, people play GOAT. Those are different communities. What's the downside? I don't understand the problem. Right? Then give it a nine months. It would make events smaller. I mean, what do you get from the size of an event? Like, why is that a why is that a why is that such a counter argument? for like the game like do you care personally if a YCS has 3000 players or 1500 players cuz it's split into two like is that what is your like why does what is your disadvantage at that like no one no one really cares about that i think People and friends are the core of the game, dude. So you think you're losing all your friends if they implement rotation right now? I think then you should maybe reconsider your friendships. If you think you lose all your friends because they implement the rotation. <laughs> I think maybe... I don't... I think now we're getting a little bit off track with our arguments here. Like, you're like, hey, yo, friends are the core of the game. We can't have rotation, bro. Your friends don't rotate, bro. The cards rotate, not the friends. I'm not talking about rotating your friends out. <laughs> I think to get to a close, to get to a close, I think, and you can disagree on this, you can you can definitely disagree on this, but I personally think that the way they are treating Yu-Gi-Oh! right now, like I mentioned previously, I don't think it's going to work forever. I think Yu-Gi-Oh! is, with the power creep, going to hit a barrier at some point, um, where the game will become overall just too fast, too, uh, too powerful, and they are not keeping up properly with a ban list right now. So I think eventually we will we 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 will hit a barrier where some more drastic um, measures are necessary, as just our like ban list with like five cards every four months or whatnot, right? Like we get a we get a ban list that features like between five and ten cards every three to four months, and uh, at this pace, I think the game is gonna get out of hand, um, really quickly at some point. And um, whether that's, like, next year or in two years or whatnot is, like, we will see. We will see. Uh, currently, I still enjoy the game a lot. I want to say this. Like, all of this, like, also my latest YouTube video, it might sound like I have so many issues with modern Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't like it anymore. That's not the case. I still enjoy it a lot. I still think it's, um, I still think it's great. I, I think Yu-Gi-Oh! is a great game right now. 
but I I don't really see many options as to where it could go from here. You know what I mean? Um, and we will see. And set rotation could be a solution to that. Maybe a big, maybe maybe all it takes is like they change the way they do ban lists, right? Maybe that's maybe that's all. Maybe they need to do ban lists more frequently, like they do in Master Duel. Maybe that's the all. Maybe that's all they need to do. Just like give us a ban list every month, make it make it more fresh and like give us react faster to like, you know, react faster to to cards that are too powerful and whatnot, right? I think I think overall, there needs to be something that deals with the power creep. Is I think how we can get to a close here, and I think that is even the people that don't like rotation or don't like the idea of rotation can probably agree with that. That there needs to be some solution to the power creep because we can't power creep forever. Can we agree on that, chat? I think we can agree on that. I think that's a very reasonable take about modern Yu Gi Oh! is that power creep at some point needs to be looked at, and at some point there, it, there needs to be a solution. Whether that solution is a, is a different ban list strategy, a new master rule, a set rotation doesn't really we don't have to agree on that right now because also like you know we we can't predict that and we don't know exactly how it's going to how it would work um but i think we can agree that something at some point needs to happen about the power creep know what i mean i think that's all i wanted to say about it i think i would be i personally would not be opposed to set rotation but i'm i would also i would i would only like a set rotation under two premises which is important. The first premise would be that they do it properly, which that is a tough ask and also doesn't it, what what exactly does that mean? I don't know, but they would it, it would from a game design perspective, I would only like a rotation if they if they did it properly. And the second thing is I think they should keep the the full power all-time Yu-Gi-Oh, they should keep that as a side as a, as a secondary format if they ever did a rotation. I think they should I think I think those are the two I think those are the two conditions under which I would be okay with set rotation and I could actually see it being quite healthy for the game in the long run. Right? It's like do it properly and also keep the other format um like keep the eternal format alive basically. Or maybe they'll find a different solution, but some solution needs to be found, I think. <laughs>